Well, good day, my interweb droogs. My name's Dave, this is PC Games N, and I've got a brand new Samsung SSD to talk about. So the new Samsung 970 EVO is the Korean giant's latest solid-state drive, offering the fastest transfer speed in the mainstream PCI SSD. But is it the absolute best SSD around? So Samsung are pretty much the undisputed kings of solid-state storage. For one good reason, they manufacture their own memory controllers and their own memory, so two good reasons and they can manufacture both by themselves at great volume. So there's three then. Look, whatever the Romans have done for us, Samsung rule SSD land. There's no other company in the storage game which comes close, so Samsung have got the monopoly, at least in the high-end space anyway. Crucial, with the backing of their Micron overlords, they're able to keep Samsung honest in the standard old-school SATA SSD world, with the likes of the Speedy MX500, but when it comes to PCIe drives, no one else can touch them. But the big question for the 970 EVO drive then is, have Samsung extended their performance lead or, with no one to push them, is the new SSD just a little bit more of the same? This time around there's no new NAND flash memory to get all excited about, because you know how we all love to get excited about new NAND, right? No. Where the 960 EVO brought with it the new 3-bit MLC VNAND or stacked TLC memory, the 970 EVO is piggybacking the tech, bringing us more of the same. But using the old memory, Samsung have added an extra level of capacity to the EVO range, offering a 250GB, 500GB, this 1TB drive, and a big old 2TB SSD up top. Where there is some new memory, however, is in the makeup of the drive's cache. Samsung have switched from DDR3 to DDR4 for the new cache chips, and that helps it achieve a lower idle power level. The biggest change, however, and the one which is the most responsible for the 970 EVO's increased performance, yes, spoiler alert, this drive is faster, is the new Samsung-built Phoenix controller. If we're honest, it sounds like it's a lot like the previous gen's Polaris memory controller, with a total of five cores to give it the parallel data crunching chops, but they've boosted the clock speed of the chip, and that's where the drive's extra speed comes from. So it's faster then, but by how much? The main thing is always going to be the level of sequential read-write performance a new SSD can deliver, and while the one terabyte drive's headline speeds of 3,400 megabytes per second and 2,500 megabytes per second sound pretty astounding, inevitably you're not going to see that in day-to-day -day use. Most of the big files you mess around with have already been compressed, and the incompressible read-write speeds of the 970 EVO actually means you're getting more like 2,500 and 2,400 megabytes per second in terms of the read and write. Part of that pace, though, comes from Samsung's intelligent TurboWrite tech. At its most basic level, it's a feature which apportions a small amount of the drive's capacity to act as single-level cell memory, which performs quicker than the triple-level cell TLC standard. The intelligent part, which was introduced with the 960 EVO, allows the drive to allocate extra storage to this SLC cache if a specific data transfer needs it, i.e. is over 4GB in size. If there is enough spare capacity on the drive to allow it, however. But don't be too sad, however, because that performance still puts it ahead of both the 960 EVO and the 960 Pro SSDs of the last generation. But only really marginally. The random 4K performance is only a little up on the new drive too, and that represents how the SSD deals with the myriad tiny reads and writes an SSD has to put up with when managing a PC's operating system. It's a good indication of how simply a drive will perform as a main system drive. So yeah, we're talking very much about an evolution, non SSD revolution here. Performance is only incrementally up, but that shouldn't worry you too much. So why shouldn't you worry? Well, despite the fact that memory supply is a global struggle right now, and therefore memory pricing can be chaotic, Samsung have retained the same pricing structure for their new drives as they did with their previous generation of PCIe SSDs. That means the 250GB drive is around $120, the 500GB should be around $225, and this 1TB then is around $450. And the new 2TB SSD? Well, let's just say that's expensive. Still, considering what's happened to the graphics card pricing recently, partly because of the memory supply and demand issues, the new drive's pricing staying flat is a bit of a win. Samsung clearly have a lot of faith in the new mainstream drives too, because they're offering the same five-year warranty the Pro series enjoys with these traditionally less reliable TLC-powered SSDs. That's borne out by the endurance of these new drives too. Samsung rate this one terabyte drive has, has having a total bytes written level of 600 terabytes. That's up a hefty 200 terabytes over the previous generation. So while the actual SSD performance isn't maybe as exciting as a speed boost we've enjoyed in previous generations, this is still the most powerful high-speed SSD that you would actually bother to buy. The 960 Pro is quicker again, but way more expensive, and only faster in ways that make zero difference to most of us. Sure, this 1TB SSD is also seriously expensive, but the 500GB version is half the price with almost the same level of performance, and will be a fantastic boot drive too. You can then pick up a 1TB SSD for the same cost to act as the speedy data drive. So that's a win-win. 
So that's the new Samsung 970 Evo then. It's the fastest mainstream PCIe SSD around, and even if it's not the most explosive of performance boosts, it's still delivering class-leading performance at a relatively decent price. So thanks for listening to the noises coming out of the space below my nose, and if you've liked what you've seen and heard, give us a like and subscribe, and check back for more gaming and hardware goodness very, very soon. See you around.